Yes, there had been another attack. The worst one yet. This time, someone had disappeared. It was Ginny Weasley, and another message was left on a wall. It said her skeleton will lie in the chamber forever. Hogwarts would surely close now. Professor Lockhart had been given the task of rescuing Ginny, but Ron and Harry were beside themselves with worry. They had to do something. Hurry, Harry! We have to save Ginny! We need to have a plan. I'll go to Moaning Myrtle's bathroom and try to find the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. And I'll go find Lockhart. It wouldn't surprise me if he was trying to sneak out of Hogwarts. Sponge are fine! <laughs> you how you died. You're the first one who ever asked. I died in this very stall. I remember it so well. The door was locked and I was crying because Olive Hornby had teased me about my glasses. Then I heard somebody come in. They said something odd in a different language, I think. It was a boy speaking. So, I unlocked the door to tell him to go and use his own bathroom, and then I died. Where was this boy standing? Over there by the sinks. One of them has never worked, not as long as I've been here. I wonder if that's where the entrance to the chamber is. Open! Open! That's not working. Maybe if I try parcel tongue. Got him. He was packed and ready to go. What's that? I think it's the entrance to the Chamber of Secrets. Well, then you won't be needing me. Cheers, boys. Have to go warm up my broom. You're not through yet. Down you go. But... 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 Now! No! In you go. Oh, don't mush your hair. Oh! Oh! oh. Come on, Harry. This is it! I know. Adventure ends here, boys. Ron! Careful, Harry! I think he's lost it! Lost it? Moi? No, 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 no. Not the great Gilderoy Lockhart. It's just that now is the time to end this little adventure. I shall go back to the school, tell them it was too late to save the girl, and that you both tragically lost your minds at the sight of her dead body. Say goodbye to your memories! Obliviate! Ron! Are you okay? Ron! Yes, I'm through here. I'm fine. Lockhart isn't, though. He got blasted by his own memory charm. 
What are we going to do now? Well, we can't get through this lot. It'll take ages. There's only one thing to do. You are here and I'll go on. Ginny's been down here for hours, and if we waste any more time, it might be too late. OK, Harry. I'll start trying to shift some of this rock so you can get back through.
Sempra! Flipendo! 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 Please wake up! She won't wake. Tom? Tom Riddle? She's still alive, but only just. Little Ginny's been writing in my old diary for months. She poured out her soul to me. It made me stronger until I had enough power to pour a little of my soul back into her. What do you mean? 
Ginny Weasley opened the Chamber of Secrets, just as I had long ago, before I became Lord Voldemort. No! <laughs> It is me, Harry. Ginny told me all about you. I'm afraid that your second year magic tricks will be worthless against the power of the greatest sorcerer in the world. The greatest sorcerer in the world is Albus Dumbledore. Dumbledore is gone. Now I'm going to teach you a lesson. Let's match the powers of Tom Riddle, heir of Slytherin, against the famous Harry Potter. <sighs> That's a phoenix. Forks! A sword from Dumbledore. No doubt afraid to come himself. Well, it won't save you, Harry Potter. Speak to me, Slytherin, greatest of the Hogwarts Four. Harry, oh Harry, I wanted to tell you, it was me, Harry, but I swear I didn't mean to. Riddle made me do it. It's all right. Riddle's finished. Come on, Ginny, let's get out of here. Hello, Harry. Professor Dumbledore, I thought you'd been suspended. 
Lucius Malfoy had threatened to curse the board if they didn't remove me, but they decided to stand up to him. Now that the heir is gone and the basilisk is destroyed, they know Hagrid is innocent too. He'll be back in his hut soon. What about Lucius Malfoy? Will he cause any more trouble? I doubt it. We can assume it was him who got the diary to Ginny. He daren't do it again unless he wants the Ministry of Magic after him. About Professor Lockhart, I'm afraid he's lost his memory. Oh dear, what will he think about now that he can't think about himself? Just don't give his job to Professor Snape. He's too, um, valuable as a potions teacher. You've all performed brilliantly. It must have been a terrible experience. It was. We spent much more time in a girl's bathroom than I would have liked. Being petrified was awful, but I learned a great deal from it. I'm going to write a paper about it for extra credit. When you've got your friends to help you, you can accomplish anything, and nothing is too awful. Well, almost nothing. Looking like Goyle came close. There's a banquet waiting for you downstairs. What do you propose for the first toast? To friendship. Loyalty. And courage, but a friendship most of all. The rest of the final term passed in a haze of blazing sunshine. Hogwarts was back to normal with only a few small differences. Defence against the dark arts classes were cancelled and Lucius Malfoy had been sacked as a school governor. Harry managed to release Dobby from the slavery of Lucius Malfoy. For it was Lucius Malfoy who had planted Tom Riddle's diary on the hapless Ginny Weasley. Draco was no longer strutting around the school as though he owned the place. On the contrary, he looked resentful and sulky. On the other hand, Ginny Weasley was perfectly happy again. This is our last day at Hogwarts. Yeah, the only thing left to do is the House Cup ceremony in the Great Hall. If you have anything you want to do at Hogwarts, you'd better do it before you go to the House Cup ceremony. Hagrid's hut. <sighs> Hello, Harry. Good to see you again. I'm so glad things are back to normal. <laughs> I'm sorry to hear that Aragog tried to eat you all. That's the problem with Acromantulus once they get a bit too big. Never mind, eh? It's so good to be back at Hogwarts. I'd be happy if I never hear mention of Azkaban ever again. Nice day, isn't it, Harry? Non-magical folk certainly have peculiar names for vegetables. A muddy pig is a happy pig. There's some who think pigs are smelly. Imagine how that makes the pigs fail. Warthogs are what I'd really like to raise. Hello, Harry. Good to see you again. I'm so glad things are back to normal. This leads to the dungeons.
I'm in the potions classroom. Better keep an eye out for Snape. You may believe, Potter, that everyone at Hogwarts is impressed with your so-called heroics in the Chamber of Secrets. But not me. I am not impressed at all. Why don't you run along and be heroic somewhere else, Potter? You may believe, Potter, that everyone at Hogwarts is impressed with your so-called heroics in the Chamber of Secrets. But not me. I am not impressed at all. This is the House Point Ceremony Chamber. The reward room has been permanently open. See how many beans you can collect. Oh, Harry, I'll never forget what you did for me. That was so amazing. Mum says that you can come and visit us any time you like at the borough. I can't wait. I'm so looking forward to coming back to Hogwarts next year. If you like, you could tell me all about what it's like to be a second year. Oh, Harry, I'll never forget what you did for me. That was so amazing. Thank you. 
the portrait of the Gryffindor common room. It's good to see you again, Harry. It's brilliant here, isn't it? Did you know that if you eat a chocolate frog, you get back stamina? Did you know that if you eat a chocolate frog, you get back stamina? It's brilliant here, isn't it? Did you know that if you eat a chocolate frog, you get back stamina? Careful, you'll knock my prefect badge crooked. No time to talk now, Harry. Oh, hello, Harry. Excellent flying yesterday, really excellent. I don't want to hear any more rubbish about me having a secret girlfriend. Cheers, Harry. Flying the car here was quite wrong, you know. Cheers, Harry. My advice is to keep your mind on your studies, Harry. No reckless behaviour this year, eh? Because I want Slytherin to win the House Cup doesn't mean I like bad boys. my feet again thanks to you. Of course I still have a bit of a headache. Mind you, it's nothing to the one I had the day I was decapitated. I'm so anxious to see what's behind this door. I just know you can find all the Silver Wizard cards, Harry. If you want to remain at Hogwarts, you ought to do as you're told. If you want to remain at Hogwarts, you ought to do as you're told. Don't think you can outwit me, Mr. Potter. I'm on to you. Don't think you can outwit me, Mr. Potter. I'm on to you. Moaning Myrtle's bathroom. How depressing. Horrible basilisk is gone. It was making a terrible mess of my perfectly miserable bathroom. It's so lonely in here, and I appreciate you coming to see me. Do you think it's wise that you spend so much time visiting the girls' bathroom? Basilisk is gone. It was making a terrible mess of my perfectly miserable body.
Back to break more valuable school property. I said, move along. Spongify! Here's the defense against the dark arts classroom. Hello, Harry. You did really well against the best Mary. Your father would have been very proud. Loyalty is a virtue, Harry. Never forget that. Bad leadership is all about being more single-minded than others. Good leadership is all about eating large quantities of cake. You did really well against the basilisk, Harry. Your father would have been very proud. If I get some patience, dear, you'll have to make yourself scarce. Shouldn't you be in class, Mr. Potter? It's you. There's the portrait of the Gryffindor common room. It's good to see you again, Harry. Attention, please. Students, attention. The headmaster wants to address you. Silence. It isn't too late to lose house points, you know. This house cup ceremony brings the school year to an end, and an eventful year it was. Without further ado, I shall now present the cup to the Hogwarts house with the most points. Think we'll take it again this year? After you and Harry saved Hogwarts, I should think so. In fourth place, Hufflepuff. Thank you for not saying last place. In third place, Ravenclaw. Thank you. We find finishing in the middle to be quite adequate. And now for the second place house. It'll be you, Gryffindors. You're naturally second best. You won't steal the house cup from Slytherin like you did last year. After barely escaping disqualification, Slytherin... What? That means 
first place, and the House Cup goes to Gryffindor. Yes! Who oh, did it again? Attention, please. Students, attention. The headmaster wants to address you. Silence. It isn't too late to lose house points, you know. This house cup ceremony brings the school year to an end, and an eventful year it was. Without further ado, I shall now present the cup to the Hogwarts house with the most points. Think we'll take it again this year? After you and Harry saved Hogwarts, I should think so. In fourth place, Hufflepuff. Thank you for not saying last place. In third place, Ravenclaw. Thank you. We find finishing in the middle to be quite adequate. And now for the second place house. It'll be you, Gryffindors. You're naturally second best. You won't steal the house cup from Slytherin like you did last year. And now for the second place house, Gryffindor. Ha! Told you so, Potter. That means... Slytherin wins the house cup. <laughs> <laughs>